Welcome back. 3D printing is one of the many tools to use for problem solving. That's why I think everybody likes a good practical print. I've been having some issues with my sign falling down. Let's figure out what I'm going to do to take care of it. I'm Ron and this is my place. So the problem that I was having was this was a kind of a sign maker coin attempt, whatever that I made and it kept falling down. So that was the first problem and because it doesn't want to sit very well. It's a plate when I need a plate holder. Okay, obvious. And the other piece of it was I'd made this laser scribed uh, sign, if you will, and I didn't really have a good place. It was been sitting here for a while and I, I kept knocking it over and I wanted to fix that as well. So the first thing I did was I went on Thingiverse trying to save some time and came up with a design that was on Thingiverse and I'll put the description down below and it probably will work just fine for a plate but as you can see it just with the design it didn't it didn't fit my plate and of course it also had no way to put my sign so I got rid of it um, it works great but not for what I needed. So then the next step, I wanted to go really minimalistic and I went into Fusion 360 and it's, I'm not gonna cover it cause it's really basic, just extrudes and coming up with a pattern. And I wanted to stay really simple and save on filament. So I tried, I made this one as a basic design um, and unfortunately it came out just a little bit too small. So I upscaled a little bit iterative design and then I came up with this one so I knew the first thing I wanted to do was get this to where it would work well which it does then I also added in the top up here a little extra block that has a cutout slot in it that my little sign hangs on to so if I can get it to be straight now I have a nice sign holder plate holder whatever you want to call it and it holds my little placard. So the two together can hopefully go right there. Problem, solution. That's all there is to it. The, uh, this was all printed in Maker Geek translucent or crystal blue PLA. Uh, printed really, really nice. It, uh, just to show you a little bit. It's got really nice first layers. These are printed on the Prusa i3 Mark III, and it printed really, really nice. No stringing, no, I mean, it's pretty much dialed in at this point. Um, then my version of it, again, very basic, just a little extrude. And the only difference between this one and the other is I added a little bit of a slot in it. Um, yeah, so again, Prusa i3 mark 3 printed at this is uh, maker geeks maker fi filament so it prints at 235 that's all i got i just wanted to show you a problem and how i solved it with 3d printing if you like what you see please subscribe if you liked it hit like if you don't like it feel free to hit dislike but just let me know what i can do better and uh yep yeah, i'm really looking forward to it pretty excited as you can see we're fast approaching a thousand that would be really cool if I managed to hit that sometime here soon um, but it's no big hurry the bigger thing is uh, I've had a lot of a lot of uh, visitors and we're getting close to approaching a hundred thousand so it's pretty exciting uh, and it's all you all and I do appreciate it and uh, our groups getting bigger please let me know when you want to see things and I will do my best to get them in there again have a great day and print everything you can